And today we're joined in the studio by Conservative commentator Charlie Rowley. And I know he's the perfect guest because he's, he's off to Glastonbury this year. Goes every year. <laughs> absolutely obsessed with it. Actually, you can't go every year, isn't it? Every two years, am I right? Anyway, uh, I don't care. But uh, I do uh, think the lineup this year is pretty lousy because... It always revolves around the big act, the legend, uh, they call it. And, of course, uh, was it last year? Elton John, Elton John was start. I mean, there was a special occasion. It was like his last concert in Britain. So uh, one of his very last concerts. So that was very, very special. And I think it was the year before we had Paul McCartney. Uh, and they've tried, apparently, to get Madonna this year. But apparently, again, uh, Glastonbury's fairly notorious for not paying that much. And she's dug her he heels in and said, I want more money. So there's no deal. There, so we're left with Dua Leaper, great Who? Coldplay, who've done it, uh, I think, several times before. Something called Scissor S Z A, <laughs> Something. and uh, I, and a person I like what? to refer to as Shania Twain. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh, there you go. Uh, not, I, I, you know, no, no disrespect to Dua Lipa, Coldplay, Scissor, and uh, Shania Twain, but <laughs> that, that Shania being the legend act, that's pretty lousy. And the others, I mean, it's pretty bland, isn't it? Well, as you say, Kevin, you uh, just try and stop me <laughs> spending a couple yeah. of weeks in a tent, you know. Uh, uh, do you in, actually in the genuinely go? No, I no, don't. I that. Yeah, I was thinking I'm, that. I'm, I'm, Sorry, it's, it's it might surprise. Friday and my brain's a bit slow today. <laughs> yeah. it, it might surprise you, but I have never been to Glastonbury. But I would like to go, but I'd have to be one of those that do the glamping. The, glam the yeah. glamping rather oh, than the God, camping. Oh, God, no. Can you just imagine? I can't think of anything worse than a field full of faeces and left-wingers. Mm. I mean, come on. I think it's just like I, a I, dreadful I, experience. I did. Once. I went, on. uh, it was the worst four days of my life. Uh, <laughs> and the people I go with, I occasionally see from time to time, and we shudder at the memory. I mean, it's just awful. And I just don't want to be among millions of people, no. shoulder to shoulder, as you say, struggling for the uh, public conveniences, which become overflowing. It usually pours with rain, and you're up to here in mud. I don't get it. I bet it's going to be full of extreme virtue signaling. I can imagine the Just Stop Oil lot will be there, the animal rights lot will be there, the Palestinian marches will probably do oh, circuits of so, the so pyramid it, stage. Yeah, so that will be in Palestinian colours, no doubt. I mean, come on, it's yeah. just... I can't think of anything you more. You know they have... Uh, that. So people will have these big flags wherever they're sitting or camping. It will be so, like... so, so uh, people say, oh, meet, meet me under the skull and cross, but the red skull and crossbone flag. So if this year anybody says, meet me under the Palestinian flag, you won't know which one to go for, because there will be thousands you know, that beautiful juxtapos juxtaposition of uh, being concerned about the, um, the mass killing of women and children in a war-torn country and taking drugs and getting wasted. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, uh, one of the few uh, people who will be able to afford the £335 ticket for is? Glastonbury, that's the point, give me... Uh, Elton John, give me uh, Paul McCartney for that kind of money, not do a leaper. Uh, £335. Most of us won't be able to afford that, but uh, MPs will because they're getting a nice big pay rise, 5.5%, taking their money up to £91,000 a year. We're asking you a straight question, folks. Uh, do MPs deserve a pay rise?